This is not a hate video towards Cal Kuzma. I've actually been a big fan of his since he joined my WizKids a couple of years ago. He has proved me wrong. He is a leader, a veteran, and a bona fide scorer. You know. But I think it's time to cut bait. It's not him. It's his game. His game is just not meshing well with the young whiz kids. It's just not. You know, what he brings to the table, his strengths are not aligning with our current strengths of our team or the strengths of our future. So when I say it's nothing towards him personally, you know that I'm telling the truth. Sometimes you gotta break up with your girlfriend because you know, it's not going anywhere. You know, she has a brighter future than you. She went to a freaking law school and you're over here dicking around at freaking Wendy's. You know, sometimes it's just best for both parties, you know. Um, we're dicking around at Wendy's right now. But, you know, I, I see freaking WAPOs in our future, <laughs> you know. And Kyle Kuzma, you know, sees a freaking big law firm in San Francisco. The Warriors. I just want to show you guys just one stat. And I think after this stat, maybe I could end this video. Maybe the, the argument could be closed, dude. I don't know. Last night, when our whiz kids got wrecked by the Atlanta Hawks, Kyle Kuzma, in three quarters, had 25 shot attempts. He played 24 minutes. He was 2 of 10 from the 3, but screw that. He had 25 shots in 24 minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, if my math is correct, that is one shot per minute. The next closest person at that time was Jordan Poole with, I believe, nine. 25 shots. Again, I made it a point that I'm not going to talk bad about Kyle Kuzma because he has brought a lot to our Wizards in the past three years. Anybody who's played with our Wizards the past three years should deserve a freaking presidential medal. He's changed leaf. He saw the Lord, apparently. He saw the light. He's no longer dressing like a freaking, you know, um, I don't know what to call it. Like those freaking uh, MAGA. No, not, not, not MAGA. <laughs> oh, sorry, I mean Met Gala. <laughs> Met Gala. But yeah, enough with the buffoonery. In this video, I'm going to go in deep regarding Kyle Kuzma's current situation with the Wiz Kids and where he could possibly go and what the Wizards can actually get from him. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. All right, let's get on with the video. So Kyle Kuzma suffered a groin injury on October 28th, which caused him to miss five of Washington's games. Apparently, throughout that stretch, he said he was finding his way in Washington's revamped offense, according to Brian Keefe. But Brian Keefe was the interim head coach last year, after Wes Unsell Jr. got fired. But I'll, you know, stray away from that. The thing that Kyle Kuzma is doing right now with his game is that he's taking away offensive opportunities and, you know, just scoring opportunities in general from our young bucks who are trying to ascend in this league. That being Bilal Kolobali, you know, Bub Carrington, Keyshawn George, and Alex Sar. In my opinion, when Kyle Kuzma was out, and it was Jordan Poole's team, because it was, the second option offensively was Bilal Kolobali. And he was actually, he had us calling him baby young Kawhi. He was out there playing stellar, like he was doing stuff that he did not do last year. He was averaging, I think, around 16 points per game while playing stellar defense. Locking. Locking up Trey Young. I know you guys remember that. And on top of that, you know, Kyle Kuzma, who plays the four, taking away minutes because Keyshawn George was rotating as a starting four, also with Alex Sar, depending on the current matchup that night. But all these players were getting their own. They were setting up their own shots. They were creating shots for others. While Jordan Poole had the keys to the car. And Jordan Poole himself, like, even with Kyle Kuzma coming back, thankfully his play hasn't diminished big time. But Jordan Poole's off to a nice start this season. Um, I'll make another video about him, dude. I don't care. I'll make 14 videos on Jordan Poole this year. I don't care, dude. Are we rolling? Yeah. This right here is my best friend. And I want to show you guys more stats. In the three games that Kyle Kuzma has been back, Bilal has scored 11 points, 6 points, and 9 points. Here's a big stat that really popped out to me. Bilal played 38 minutes against the Spurs recently, right? He only put up five shot attempts in 38 minutes. He's not even looking to score. 
he is just reverting back to his, you know, 3 and D, not even 3 and D, just reverting back to his last year's role. He went from looking like young Kawhi to baby Kawhi, you know, and it's not just affecting him. Look at Keyshawn George. Keyshawn George, who's been on a tear lately, and he was also rotating in a starting lineup with Kuz out. He has put up 13 points, 12 points, and 8 points since Kuz has come back. But before that, Keyshawn George, dude, before that, I was planning on growing out an afro, dude. I was like, fuck it, dude, I'm gonna be Keyshawn's twin. <laughs> But before that, he was out there balling 20 points, 17 points, 15 points, while effectively shooting, I believe it was 38% from the three. This, this guy was running to pick and roll. He was running to pick and roll, dude. And on top of that, he was just like, he just looks like a savvy veteran at age 20. What? His ball handling is only going to get better. He just had a growth spurt. We all know he continuously says that he's a guard in a big man's body. I'm super excited about Keyshawn. But anyways, this is about Kyle Kuzma. I honestly want Saar to get that four experience with Jonas next to him. I want Saar to get that experience so he can see how you're supposed to, how you're supposed to patrol the paint. Get that live in-game action experience. Because if he's out there playing the five, I mean, I get it. That's going to be his future role. But I believe he needs to master both the four and the five. He needs to play with the real five. We don't have like a real, maybe Rashawn Holmes. Rashawn Holmes is more of a defensive minded player, but I just feel like that experience right now for him is just really pivotal. And going to Kyle Kuzma, I mean, this year, he started off a bit less efficient than he was last year. He's averaging 17.2 points, 6.7 rebounds, 2.3 assists on 36% from the field and 27% from the three. Yeah, a lot less efficient. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, that could be attributed to a couple of things. You know, the injury. Also, Tyus Jones is not out there. Tyus Jones was setting him up in his spots, his preferred spots last year. And also just like a new integration of rookies. A new integration of just a new just lineup rotation that he needs to get accustomed to. I'm not worried about his efficiency. That's only going to improve. I think he can hover around what he did last year. And it's still way early in the season. He's only played six games. But anyways, let's go to the possible trades that I've seen. Because I've seen some possible trades, dude. One trade that I saw, I believe it was from Bleacher Report. Some dude named Dan Favell said Kyle Kuzma could be dealt to the Memphis Grizzlies for John Concher, Marcus Smart, Vince Williams, and a 2025 first-round pick. That trade's not that bad. As long as that first-round pick is in the 16 to 20 range, I'm, I'll take it. I know that last year, the Wizards wanted two first-round picks. But next year's upcoming draft class is going to have much more value than the average draft class. That person who will go 16 to 20 in next year's draft could have easily gone 8 to 12 in the draft that just happened recently where Alex R got picked number two. It's a deep draft class. I don't know about that. I mean, hopefully the Grizzlies can add in a little bit more second round picks for us in the future. They're also saying the Sacramento Kings could be in play for us uh, they're looking to go all out especially after they got DeMar DeRozan this offseason uh, the Lakers too the, they've been talking about the Lakers for a long time dude they've been talking about the Lakers for a long time since I made like four videos last year on the Lakers and the freaking Kuzma trade parade um, I can see that happening too but I don't know what the Lakers have to offer I, I don't I don't want young players I want draft picks you know Will Dawkins wants draft picks dude we said it Un well, I was about to say Uncle Ted said it. Ted Leonsis said it. You know, we're going to build through the draft. Draft picks. Golden State Warriors. They Somebody recently said that the Golden State Warriors could be a viable option for the Kyle Kuzma. And I can see that. That that fit, I can definitely see. The only thing is, again, they're saying that they would offer Jonathan Kaminga's expiring contract. I don't think I would take that. I don't. He's going to be paid big next year. And also, he's off to a rocky start. And on top of that, he's going to be like another version of Kyle Kuzma here in D.C. I think the players that we're going to draft in the coming years, they're going to be drafted specifically to be fit and molded on this team. Will Dawkins, this genius guy, is going to draft saying, okay, this guy, this wing can play next to Bilal Kolobali for the next 10 years. This big can play next to Alex R for the next 10 years. Bub and Jordan Poole could be our you know, backcourt of the future. I don't know, dude. You know, still way too early. You know, I'm not freaking Nostradamus. Or no. I can't talk today. <laughs> My lips. Ugh. 
Anyways. You could, you do, you you want some. I definitely think the Grizzlies trade could happen. Uh, somebody else tossed out the Rockets. Um, I've been thinking about the Rockets since last year too. But let me know what you guys think. How would you guys trade Kyle Kuzma? Listen, Kyle Kuzma, since he's been here, has been, you know, a steady, steady veteran and good player. I'll say it, dude. For us. No hate towards him, okay? He earned that contract that he got from us. It was damn near, I believe it was like a $96 million contract from us, you know? Uh, it's a win-win for both sides because we get assets from him, and he goes, he gets to go to a contender where he belongs. He's 29 years old. He doesn't want to rot here anymore. He wants to go and win, you know. And kudos to him, Kyle Kuzma. Um, I'll be making more videos about him. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. I'll truly, truly appreciate it. Peace, y'all.